Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can use the features in Publisher's Mailing tab in the ribbon to perform automated mailings. When you use the Mail Merge feature in Publisher, you merge information from a table, also called a data source, into designated fields in your publication. For each record or row in the table, you will typically produce one copy of the publication. For example, if you had a table that contained the names and addresses of customers, you could create a publication, like an envelope for example, that would display the name and address of each customer on its face. In this example, you create a single envelope publication and place a data field for the name and another data field for the address into the envelope. You then merge the table data into the publication to produce one envelope for each record in the table. Obviously, this can save a lot of time and money in creating mailings for situations such as these. Also, while the example uses an envelope as the publication type, you can also create letters, emails, labels, and catalogs using this feature. Publisher can also use several types of data sources. You can use an Excel spreadsheet or an access database table as your data source for a merge publication, making this feature very useful when combined with other Microsoft Office applications. To perform a mail merge, first create a mail merge publication. Then choose a data source for the publication. In the mail merge publication, enter the static or unchanging information. In our example, we have entered the return address as the static or unchanging information. This is an example of static information because it will not change from envelope to envelope. Next, insert your merge fields into the publication. The merge fields represent the location in the publication where you want the information from the data source to appear. Using our envelope example, we would insert fields for the customer's name and their mailing address. Finally, you merge the information from the data source into the merge publication. This often results in a separate publication being created, the output of the mail merge. This is often what happens when you need to make individual changes to each copy created. Often this output publication is discarded after you have finished printing it. However, you always save the data source and the original merge publication itself. Then in the future, you can recreate the mail merge using the original merge publication and associated data source. Each time you perform a merge, you send the results of the merge directly to a printer or to a new output publication for editing. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.